All right, here we are. Uh, I, I don't think it could have gone any better, really. Um, it uh, The Raptor liner goes on really, really well. I prepped it pretty good. I mean, as good as I, you know, I'm a rookie at this. I'm certainly no expert. I was scared to death to paint this thing. But um, I'm going to do the doors and the tailgate and the hood um, off of it and then put them on. But, I mean, it's really nice. I did it on 60 PSI. Um, I put about three... Three to three and a half ounces of color in into each of the uh, Raptor liner bottles. Um, I can show you what those look like over here. So here's the Raptor liner bottle. And I ordered mine. Uh, I got just the uh, tenable base, as you can see. And then they give you four in a box. And then you get a, uh, a hardener, 32 ounce hardener. So eight ounces of that into each bottle. And then the tentable. Hey, you can get any, you can get that locally. Uh, you don't need to get it online anywhere. But that is Grabber Blue from, from Ford. And I put about three ounces of that into this, and then you shake it up for about two minutes. And then I did get the adjustable Raptor gun. Um, I did not use the standard one. See the little uh, tips there, the brass tips? I just read that it's, it's this was an $84 gun <laughs> on Amazon, but I read that it was the way to go. Um, and I'm really glad I did it. I set my uh, you know, air compressor at... Uh, 60 pounds. I did have this uh, water filter on as well on the bottom of the gun. So in case anything happened, uh, there'd be no water on the paint. Literally, I had no screw ups. I, I mean, and I did the door jams. This isn't some kind of quickie thing. I spent a shitload of time. Um, and you can see that, you know, <laughs> it's really good. The texture is good. Um, I think I could have got it bigger. I could have got it smaller. You can play with the pressure up and down um, and give you if you drop the pressure, it's going to shoot bigger blobs, so it's going to be a more of a texture. And if you crank the pressure way up, um, you're going to get uh, a finer, finer coating on it. So, you know, I sprayed into the bed a little bit because the uh, vinyl liner and the uh, it'll go over the top of that. But I just want to get the edge done. I mean, I'm super happy with it. Two coats I used. Uh, Let's see, I got 12 bottles, so I have you. I got five left. <laughs> seven bottles, really, seven bottles for two coats. I really didn't take a break. I just kept spraying. By the time I sprayed the uh, uh, one side or the inside of the cab, you know, I got to run to the other side. And then, you know, they say about 40 minutes in between coats. It turned out it was about right. So yeah, I'm, so, I'm really happy with it. I mean, there's the front. I've untaped everything except this one thing here. So, um, but I did the engine compartment. You know, it's not perfect in here, but it's a hell of a lot better than having another color. Nothing worse than you got a red truck and all of a sudden you decide to paint it white and the inside of the uh, engine compartment's still red. I mean, it looks like shit. So I just decided I was gonna do it, I guess the right way. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like the Raptor liner. Uh, but for a, a Bronco or an off-road truck or a Jeep or something like that, I mean, I think it's a really nice way to go. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't think it could have gone any better. So super excited about it. When I put it all together and finish it up, <laughs> um, we'll go from there. Oh, there's a little beauty out in the street if you guys like Broncos. No, you can't have that one. That is a 1990 with a three-inch duff lift, um, and it's freaking mint. It's chestnut brown with uh, the white color. Um, yeah. That one I added to the stable, added to the corral. So anyway, uh, we'll keep you guys going. I'll keep you guys posted till next time. Out.